Hello and welcome back here to the channel. It's Tuesday, Torque Drift Tuesday here on the channel. If you notice, we have a wheel cam on and we have a pedal cam. That's because it was an update. It came out and I don't know what happened, what they changed. My Club Sport 2.5 now works in Torque Drift. So we're we'll gonna be taking a look at that, getting impressions on the wheel, taking a look at some of the UI. Definitely a big exciting day for the channel with Torque Drift with now my Club Sport 2.5 is compatible so we're gonna get into that so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all that you found in the description box below so there was a huge update recently and as you can see up top here we got a bunch of new things new create animations some new stickers twitch subscriber creates the 240z new sponsors new uniform decal scale but one of the big things is, I don't know if they changed something or maybe I updated my wheel, but now my V2.5 does work. So we have it hooked up. We went through the settings, got um, some settings and everything turned on. So wheel, gas brake, clutch, handbrake, everything works as well as my shifter. So one thing I'm very intrigued about is this new UI, especially in the garage that I didn't really talk too much about. It does look amazing. Got Dayoshi Tara's car there, you know, Torch Drift hooking me up with some cars. But so, say we're going to go to my 13, which I'm building up because when we're going to do the wheel stuff, we're going to start on lower power and work our way up. The tuning of this is so beautiful with the little bubbles that pump up and things of that nature. Definitely enjoying this uh, UI. Now, I, I feel like I need a clutch in this car because I think it might be slipping. So, but I don't think I have enough money to buy a new clutch. So we may have to just, you know, dumb down the power a little bit. Because we got no crates either. So let's go see if we can actually get any clutches for this. Um, uh, that's a no. Wait, oh, we can. We can buy an upgraded clutch. Uh, we're going to confirm that. And then we're just going to instant buy that. Yep. Can we upgrade our clutch again? We do not have, we may have enough money to upgrade the clutch. Yes, we do. We're going to do that. We're going to instant buy that. We're going to install that clutch on the car so we can actually see if the clutch is slipping because I was testing it. And it seemed like the clutch was slipping. So we're going to make sure, yep, yep we got our clutch installed. So the S13, we're going to be testing the S13 as well as some of the cars that Torch Drift gave me on the wheel. So without further ado, let's just get to the wheel driving because I know you guys want to get on there and see what the wheel looks like. Now, this is going to be my first impressions. I've done a little bit of testing, so I haven't really done too much. So, if I suck, I apologize. But we're just going to go practice. And we're going to head to... Uh, I feel like we should go to the slab because it's nice, big, and open. And... Yeah, we're going to go to the slab. Go to the slab. It's nice. It's big. It's open. We'll be able to rip the cars and have a good time. So, we're going to go take a look at my 13 first and then we're gonna switch up some pro cars that are dialed and more set up for the wheel and the force feedback so we're gonna go and we're just gonna go full send so we have everything working handbrake works brakes work as you can see and we're just gonna go full send and see what happens first shot torque drift on the wheel And for a first rip out, we're not doing too bad in this 13. Definitely got to get used to it. It's very different, but we can actually left foot brake now because I'm used to left foot braking with pedals. So this, oh, this is this is going to make this game so much more fun. Ooh, I got to stay in gas. Clutch kicks are so much easier now. Um, I'm actually loving this right now. This feels so cool. It's definitely something I've been waiting for. Handbrake in there, throw it in. There we go. Nice transition into the wall. <laughs> I've been waiting for wheel support to come for my 25 for a very long time. So big thank you to Torque Drift for, I don't know what they did, but they got it all worked out. So this is definitely so much fun right now. Handbrake. Definitely got to get used to the oscillation and things of that nature. But the ability that I can left foot brake now and to, I'm going to have to tune the cars and tune maybe the force feedback a little bit. But I'm actually having a ball with this right now. This is going to make for so much more fun driving. 
So I think I'm going to go to my wheel and we're going to switch sensitivity to 900 instead of authentic and see what that changes. See if it changes anything in my wheel. Oh yeah. I'm uh I'm having a lot of fun. Maybe some fine tuning of feedback settings are in order, but I think for first rip out, uh I think we're definitely throwing this down. Gotta get used to a little bit of the oscillation. Hard on clutch. Kind of had oh I have it set to still do still do a gas or accelerate when handbraking. Ooh, so I need to turn that off. There's some settings I notice I gotta turn off. So I wanna change views. I wanna go in car. Because we do have the sweet in car view that does rotate when you're driving. Does it not in there? Where's my in car view? Oh rip! My in car view is not there right now? Ah. Did I make a different view set? Well, that's a little sad. So we're gonna go back up to my far away view. I think I may have screwed my views up somehow. Just able to clutch kick that. We gotta go in there and tweak that setting though. We gotta get rid of that setting for controls, accelerate when handbrake off, manual, off we are on aggressive let's turn off stability control and see what happens off 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 okay okay all right and we're gonna go with that we're gonna turn off stability control and see what happens that was a hard lock definitely very feel the wheel a lot oh yeah i like it better without stability control I feel like I have a little bit more control of the car. Oh yeah, all the clutch kicks. All the clutch kicks and the left foot brakes are actually able to happen now. I think we have a solid feel right now. I'm gonna have to tweak the wheel settings a little bit, just like I said before, to get a little bit better feel for myself, but torque drift on the wheel. Oh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So let's change up cars and tracks and go to one of the cars that the dev sent me there's a couple cars that I guess they fine-tuned with the feedback settings so we're gonna go back to practice and of course you know we're gonna go home away from home Cali Banks and see if we can run the bank on a wheel I'm probably stretching this a little bit you know stretching my skill with this one so we're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna go to so Dayu Shahara's car and the Mustang were two of the cars that I know were fine-tuned for it so we're gonna go and join in Jonathan Naren's Mustang and we're gonna see I don't know if this is gonna work send it in oh nope <laughs> <clears throat> well, that was an instant hard hit. So we're gonna we're gonna restart that. Definitely gonna need to get some practice with this car and with the wheel. Yep. There's definitely gonna have to be some setting changes. I feel with the wheel, and I honestly liked how my 13 handles. But I think this just would just be just a sense of getting used to it, kind of like that. Ooh, wall tap. It would just take a minute to get used to because this car has much more angle, and I think I'm used to the less angle that is in my 13. So, I'm going to change cars. We're going to go back to my 13 because, not going to lie, I was definitely having a blast with that 13. Oh, we're going to try and chase. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Because I already know I crash. But we're going to try anyways. Yeah, see, I'm much more comfortable in the 13. 
than I am that Mustang, but it's probably just a setting thing. I don't know how we survived that, but we did. We are doing tandems on a wheel right now here in Torque Drift. They may be a little shaky, but they're tandems nonetheless. So definitely super excited now to have the wheel out here on Torque Drift. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot more Torque Drift and my continuation of my progression on the wheel once I fine tune some more things. We're not going to retry that. Nope. No, I don't want to. I don't want to try that. So we're going to go to controls. We're actually going to lower the feedback because it is pretty, pretty stout right now. We're going to lower it down to about 29 from 50. And we're going to go back to the main menu. We're going to go practice the Cali Bank free run. We can, or we can just hop right into a... Uh, we can hop into a slab battle and try and actually get some tandems in the 13 on the wheel. So first tandems, first feel, impressions. Definitely got to fine tune a little bit of stuff on the wheel, but we can get it. We have the ability now. We have the wheel support. So it's definitely able to happen, and we're going to be doing some fine-tuning with it because I'm having a blast with it, and this is just the first try. If we can find some way to go against, that would be even a better to make this episode that much cooler to try and actually get some real tandems. Oh, we do have somebody, or actually that's probably just a bot, but you know what? We're going to go for it. So I saw some first. It's the first actual try at a run on the wheel. Ooh, definitely lost traction there. All right, so that feels much nicer, not as deep as I wanted to be, much nicer on the wheel. And now it's very light, so we may have to kick it back up a little bit. Left foot braking, clutch kicks. We're uh, managing to get some clips. Oh, and then we failed it there. So definitely going to be a learning curve on the wheel, but we are able to kind of sauce it and get it going a little bit. So we might be able to just dumb it down on our wheel. Our actual settings on the wheel, but unfortunately that was not a good run. We missed a lot of clips, so... I'm going to try and catch up with the 14. Oh, we're overpassing him. Oh, we're trying. The fact that I can left foot brake now is so much nicer. I was having always having a problem doing it on a controller and on a phone, but we're able to do it now on a wheel. And uh, I think I think we actually got a decent tandem. I don't think we took the win, but I think we got a decent tandem. We did take the win, though. All right, so we took the win. I'll take that, and we'll uh, rank up on our 13. We're going to go back, and we're going to change the feedback back up before we try another battle. So if you guys want to keep seeing Torch Drift on the wheel, make sure you guys let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm definitely super excited that we do have this now. I feel like we need to adjust this force feedback smoothing. So let's go all the way up to 4, and then we're going to go back into a practice. Because I'm curious what that force feedback smoothing is. Because if we could figure out how to smoothen out the feedback and make it perfect, we're going to be throwing tandems for sure. So, free roam. S13. Unsure what the force feedback smoothing is, but we're all the way up now. So we should be able to feel some sort of difference. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I see what that does now. That makes it not as strong when you're when you're trying to rotate back and forth. All right, all right. So I think we may may have a good. We're gonna knock it. It was at I believe one. So we're gonna go to two. I want to see how that feels. Ooh, snapped hard two angle. I think two feels good. Yeah, I like two. I like two, so definitely 
going to be, like I said, fine-tuning the settings here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which you found in the description box below. And uh, we are going to be seeing a lot more torque drift here on the channel with the wheel support and the progression of wheel driving here on the channel. So make sure you follow me. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. That's a wall tap. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Wall scrape. We got this.